Hey guys, Ali from Alterax. How are you? Hope you're having an awesome day. We're in the middle of summer, heat's on and riding's on too. So it's been good dirt. We're getting rain here and there. But we wanted to quickly go over our offering for different hitches that we provide on the website. You may not see all of them, but this is kind of where we're going. We have obviously our general hitch, a regular hitch that we sell, and you see this as a regular hitch. This is a hitch that will basically once you put the rack on, it's great for smaller to mid SUVs. Uh, Toyota Tacoma trucks will clear the tailgate on that, and anything smaller vehicles will be great with the with the regular hitch. Then, and they're gonna create, they're gonna provide the same function for uh, for different racks. It's just basically how far the rack is extends out from your receiver is what these function of the hitches are. The rise is about the same in all of them. Next we have the Excel hitch which actually increases the overall length and the reach of the rack by another two inches. This is great for pretty much all trucks. Large trucks, small trucks that are not Toyota Tacoma. So you got your Ford Rangers, you got your uh, Nissans, Toyota, uh, Tundras and F-150s, 250s, 350s, the Chevys, the Dodges, um, the Hondas. This is gonna be great. It's gonna give you that two extra inch and when we mean clearing the tailgate that means when the rack is upright without doing anything can I lower my tailgate drop it and get full access into the tailgate without damaging anything and the answer is yes with an Excel hitch and yes also with a regular hitch here's our newest product which is the short hitch the short hitch was designed for the swinger but we're finding it extremely helpful with other vehicles especially if you're running combo setup a short hitch greatly reduces the size as you can see and also lowers the rack overall so it can reduce the height and this is great for the swinger because it it sucks the rack in and change the center of gravity is placed exactly where it needs to be but it also lowers the bikes so on on the vehicles that are lower this can become a problem this and this is what we have here this is called the six inch extender that basically connects to the main vertical post of the rack and the, the low bar is connected to this, the, the lower bar, and it pushes out the, the low bar by six inches, so obviously it pushes the rear wheel out and up, and it changes the angle and the way the gravity is affecting those bikes. So for heavier bikes, the extended six inch uh, kick out is amazing. Combine the short hitch with a six inch kick out, and you'll have one of the best racks for your smaller SUVs, for your Subaru Outback, for your uh, CRVs, for your uh, Toyota 4Runners, not the 4Runners, excuse me, but your Toyota smaller SUVs, or any smaller SUV that has the flip up top door. Because what this does, it sucks the rack in, so it takes out the majority of the flex out of that unibody framing, but then it pushes the bikes up, so it gives you that great, uh, and our legendary clearance that we have as far as angle and entry when it comes on the bottom where the bikes sit and uh, basically allows you to clear steep driveways for off-roading, for dips in the roads and anything like that. Now if I take this 6 inch kick out and combine it with an Excel hitch, now I have full clearance for doors on the vans for the sprinters and the Ford Transits that's been so far has been tested on and also on the Nissan Envys. So what does that mean? It's when you, mean you need lower the rack and you have the six inch kick out installed with an Excel hitch, you no longer need that extender that we usually sell. Uh, as long as you don't have a whole lot of stuff on the back door, if you do need that clearance, do see our Q&A page and our blogs for our diagrams that shows very specifically as far as the cavity that you have to work with and the clearances you get based on each one. We will soon update our, our Q&A page and our blog post also with the six inch kick out clearance diagram so you can see what this is gonna give you and everything's measured from the hitch pin hole out so you can say all right from my hitch pin I have this much room and this is the clearance I need and then you can go see and verify it. But hopefully this was a educational video for you showing you the differences between our hitch offerings and this is Ali from Alterax. Hope you're having a great day. See ya!